I'm Joanne Felix, and I'm the Acting Investment Projects and Implementation Manager in the Economic Policy and Implementation Branch. The Economic Policy and Investment Branch is mandated to provide guidance and leadership in relation to the formulation and amendment of policies and legislation, and to monitor all activities associated with the implementation of investment projects. We have oversight of the Factories Corporation of Jamaica, Development Bank of Jamaica, and the Urban Development Corporation. Well, we are responsible for facilitating collaboration among the ministry and its agencies to promote the government's economic and investment agenda, which is to enhance um, and to implement strategies, policies, and projects to maximize investment opportunities and the benefits of these investments within Jamaica. Jamaicans benefit in many ways uh, through the provision of jobs prior to developments, during the developments, and once developments are completed. And since we also facilitate investment, enhancement of investment opportunities, Jamaicans can also benefit from these investment opportunities and um, also see benefits from the expansion of warehousing and factory spaces across Jamaica. Um, and one major achievement, we facilitated the revision of the public-private partnership policy for Jamaica. Um, and one of the major goals with that revision was to incorporate climate risk assessments as part of the appraisal process for PPPs. And that's just one of the many ways that Jamaica is streamlining climate change considerations in its operations. We also are working on, we have saw the completion of the first phase of the Garmix Free Zone Redevelopment and Expansion Project on Marcus Garvey Drive. And that first phase saw the completion of 126,000 square foot of commercial space to facilitate manufacturing, warehousing, and distribution for small, medium, and large enterprises. We also initiated um, the due diligence phase for the Boundbrook Urban Center project in Port Antonio, Portland, uh, which will facilitate the amalgamation of Government of Jamaica services as well as private sector services. Um, that project will see 140,000 square feet of commercial space being available for Portland. We are also working on the Moran Bay Urban Center. That's something that we are expecting to see completed this year. The Moran Bay Urban Center is a massive development of over 400,000 square feet, um, which will see the combination of industrial and commercial space. And similar to the Bound Boot Project, it will be facilitating the provision of government services as well as private sector services. So we're expecting to see that project have a massive massive impact on the local economy in St. Thomas. Another thing that we're looking forward to in this, the new financial year, is the revision of the privatization policy. We've already started working on that. We're looking to go to cabinet um, with that policy this year. The government, through the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation, is ensuring policies to maximize investment opportunities. Many Jamaicans are unable to own their own home. As such, renting is one of the housing solutions available. Often disputes arise when people rent due to misunderstandings, lack of written contracts.